We're here at Savoy Place at the IET headquarters in London for the 40th Young Women Engineering Awards. It's been a fantastic evening. It's time to go and meet those winners. How are you feeling right now? I imagine it's a lot to take in. It is a lot to take in. I'm absolutely buzzing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't have words to explain how I'm feeling. and It's, it's, it's incredible. I'm really honoured and I'm really grateful for the award. I'm, I, everything I do, I do because I enjoy doing it, but to get recognised for it and to actually get an award for it, it's, it's amazing. And you're, you're clearly a great role model. Uh, in terms of diversity in engineering, obviously we, we've got several things to consider. How do you think we as engineers can help diversity in the profession going forward? Yeah, awards like this raise the platform for engineering, especially to female audiences. But generally, as males or females in engineering, I think it's very important that we dedicate time to go into schools and actually volunteer. Um, so, for example, I teach maths as part of a charity called uh, the Access Project. I tutor in GCSE maths to so just help students with that. So it could be anything from spending a day talking about what you do. Thing is, engineers are very present in our everyday life, but children and young people are not very aware because it's not like a doctor, for example, who you go to when you're sick. But you do use a computer every single day. We hide in our offices, don't we? We hide, we hide away, we're not seen a lot. We hide in our offices and we're not seen all the time. So it is important that people make time to actually go into schools and speak to kids or even invite them to your workplaces for work experience opportunities because you don't know who you'd be inspiring to follow in your footsteps or even cover their own footsteps for themselves in a different discipline in engineering.